It's a light heavyweight title fight between John Jones and one of the best for over a decade, Vitor Belfort. UFC light heavyweight champion Vitor Belfort is amongst the elite of the elite today and that is incredible when you consider that he made his octagon debut way back in 1997 Vitor has a black belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu and some of the fastest striking technique in the sport today Training for this bout has been perfect. He believes he has a solid game plan, and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. He is well prepared for this contest. John Jones, set to fight Vitor, the Phenom Belfort. For this light heavyweight championship fight, Jones is 28. Belfour is 38. Jones is four inches taller. He will have a 10-inch reach advantage. And with the official introductions, here's the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. This is the moment U.S. fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. <laughs> Six feet tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, presenting the challenger, Vitor Afino! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a let see new fighter, holding a professional record of 22 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Endicott, New York, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, John Bones. John Championship out. I want you guys to do a clean fight. Follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Good luck tonight. Catch you up. Man, Joe, we have been waiting a long time for this one. It's finally here. John Jones. Here you you Vitor Belfort. Here we go. Fight scheduled for five five minute rounds. White trunks for Belfort. Black trunks for the champion. One thing that John Jones is very good at is catching his opponents with counter shots as they try to move in on him. Vitor Belfort with a clean and accurate jab. Oh, he missed that kick. Belfort with a good knee. Big hook. 
Bellfort gets caught by the head kick. And again with those high kicks. Good work blocking. Oh, big shot. He connects with the head kick. Oh, what an exchange. Big right hand. Head kick. He's teeing off with some vicious shots. And he's down. That's a vicious kick. Oh, oh, with the right, right hand. hand. Oh, combination. Wow, swing and a miss. Ah, the youngest champion in UFC history with a big strike. Beautiful body shot there, too. Big shots. Oh, head kick. Big punch. Look at this. He hurt him with that hook. Huge kick. And back up again. You can hear Greg Jackson and John Jones's corner telling him to stay busy from the bottom to keep working. Nice left hand. He oh, big elbow. Mike. This may be it. moment for him. Here's a perfectly placed kick that results in a knockdown. And let's see if we could get a better look at that from this angle. Oh, 
tá legal, você já passou por isso antes. Round two. That last round was absolutely insane. If this round gets off to anything like the last round, one of these guys is going out. I can't imagine a scenario where if they continue where they left off in the last round, that one of these guys doesn't get knocked out. Take a look at the knockdowns oh! right here, Joe. This could be it. it. Jones, the victor! Wow! What a statement that man just made! A huge kick for the knockout victory. And here we see the KO that retains his title. Brutal power, lands in picture-perfect fashion. His opponent goes limp, and he retains his world title. And let's look at that from a different camera. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop to this contest at 23 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, John Jones! Jones! John Jones remains the UFC light heavyweight champion.